see that? That device is a router and it's giving internet to 10 to 15 other devices including my smart TV and your smartphone can do the same thing and that's what I'll show you today. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of smartphone tips and tricks video and I'll talk about how to tether from your smartphone. If uh, this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please come back for more. If you only like smartphone tips videos, there will be links in the description box below. So today I'm going to show you how you can tether from your smartphone and uh, this is a very simple process and I'm not going to uh, go into different options. Uh, I'll only talk about the wireless tethering and uh, that's what I'll show you. But there are other ways to tether which I'll just you know briefly go over it. So what is tethering is that uh, your phone just works like a router and it can give internet to other devices. For example, we'll, uh, at the end of our uh, video, you'll see that uh, this tablet is getting internet from this phone and this is very handy if you're traveling or if you'd like to share your internet connection with someone else and this internet connection actually is the internet connection from your uh, telephone service provider just make sure that you know they allow tethering and you're not breaking any rules or, uh, or laws uh, because some uh, providers or service providers may prohibit you from tethering your phone uh, and share the internet connection so just to uh, be clear, you're not sharing your Wi-Fi connection, you're actually sharing your mobile internet which you usually get with your you know, telephone service or smartphone uh, voice and data service. So if you exceed the limit, uh, there might be additional charges and also as I mentioned before, just make sure that you know uh, tethering is not prohibited under your terms and agreements. I have had a few uh, service providers in the past and I never had an issue that you know they are prohibiting or it's not allowed to tether but uh, definitely you're going to uh, just check you know uh, based on where you're located or who is your service, service provider so to keep everything simple I'm going to show you just wireless tethering uh, you're not connected to any USB or you're not connected to uh, anything else uh, so this is just a simple tethering and I'm going to be showing you on an Android phone. Uh, I do not have an Apple phone, so I have no idea how to do it on Apple. But my guess would be that you know the steps are very uh, similar, if not 100% the same. So you can try it, but this is going to be based on my Android phone. And if your Android phone looks a little bit different, uh, that's okay. Basically, you're just looking for the same settings, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's start from here. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to your phone settings. And this is kind of the whole button right here. So let me just bring this a little closer and you're going to click on it. And here you're going to see a few options. So you're looking for network and internet, mobile, Wi-Fi and hotspot. So hotspot is what we're looking for. So basically when you tether, it's going to be, you know, uh, your phone is going to act like a hotspot and it's just giving you connection to other devices. So now, once you click on that, you can see here that hotspot and tethering off and you want to turn this on. So let's click on here. Now, you can see here that there are different types of you know tethering, USB tethering. This is just like you know, you're sharing your connection via USB. We're not going to go into more detail. Bluetooth tethering, uh, we're not going to go into more detail. And Ethernet tethering, we're not going to go into more detail. Uh, so what we're looking for is Wi-Fi hotspot. So that means that, you know, your phone is going to act as a router and it's going to share its Wi-Fi, which is coming from the phone service provider or it's your data plan and it's just sharing with other devices. So the next step is going to be click on here and you can see that the Wi-Fi hotspot is off so we're just going to turn this on so just click on here so now we have the Wi-Fi hotspot on and you can see that there's kind of tiny icon right here 
uh, just let's bring this a little closer and you can see there's something right here so that means that Wi-Fi hotspot is on and this device is tethering right now or in other words this device is, is giving internet connection now and you have to just like you know uh, log in from your other device to catch the internet from this device now here you're going to see an option that you have hotspot password so what is this just you know you can choose your password so not everyone else can like you know uh, get your uh, internet from your phone and here there's another option turn off hotspot automatically if no devices are connected and here you can see that the, there are different type of security settings you can just go with the default uh, I'm not going to go into detail more here I'm going to just leave everything as is so what happened here now I turn this on and this device can now give internet to other devices so now I have my Chromebook or tablet right here and I'm going to try to connect to the internet of this device from this device so in order to do that you're going to have to go to settings of the uh, tablet or the other device so you're going to click on the settings or internet for your other device so I'll just click on the internet right here and here I'm going to connect on internet so what it's doing is just you know taking uh, internet from my Wi-Fi uh, which was already connected but if you take a look here then you can see that it also has the option of my internet from my phone which I just tether uh, so my pixel for a 5G is appearing here and it is just acting as a router so in order to connect to the phone what I need to do, I'm going to have to just click on Pixel for a 5G. Uh, so if you are using uh, your phone, your phone's name is going to be appearing right under Wi-Fi, under network. So if you just click on here, then you're going to see that you know it's asking you to enter the password. So if you just you know enter the password, so I enter the password. And here you can see an option that allow other users of this device to use this network which you don't need so just click connect and you can see that the f other device is connected right now and let's click on the internet uh, it should give you an idea so right now you can see that you know this one pixel 4 a 5g is the internet this device have right now uh, which is coming from this phone right here Right now, this tablet is connected using the phone's internet, which we just, you know, tethered via Wi-Fi hotspot setting. So this is what this internet is showing. So if you want to do a quick speed test, so I'm just going to do a quick speed test. So we have the speed test website, and if I click on here, so it's connecting. But here you can see that it has the name of the internet I'm using for this device which it says Freedom Mobile and that's actually name of my service provider which I have on my phone. So right now it's using internet from my service provider uh, which is my cell phone's uh, network and that's the Freedom Mobile. So, so that's how you can use your phone or smartphone or mobile phone to tether and give Wi-Fi to other devices using Wi-Fi hotspot feature which I just showed you. So thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.